are starting with John Chandler outside the Wells Fargo Center in Philly. And John, really, March Madness does not get any madder than this. Oh, this is, by definition, March Madness, isn't it? History. That's what we saw here in Philadelphia tonight. A city that is rich with it. A city that loves a good underdog. And make no mistake, St. Peter's is now one of the great underdog stories that sports has ever seen. The St. Peter's Peacocks have now become the first 15 seed to reach the Elite Eight. They swarmed three-seed Purdue with their trademark defense. They kept pace with the Boilermakers trading big shot for big shot. They fed off a rowdy crowd that was fueled by Jersey pride at the start and then by the end had added UCLA and North Carolina fans to their frenzied bad wagon. And then they celebrated their win. Stunning, but not surprising to anyone who's been following along St. Peter's on this ride through the NCAA tournament. Afterwards, we watched something else that this team is getting quite used to. Fans cheering as they board the bus to leave well. Wells Fargo Center, but they're staying in Philadelphia, not going far, just driving further territory in this month, the Elite Eight. I don't think any of us were, were nervous or really cared about the, how many people were there watching us. Uh, we just went out there and did our thing. Uh, we've been doing what we've been doing all season, which was defending and playing as hard as we possibly can. And then the emotions at the end, it, it, again, it's just we're, we're making history, and we look forward to keep making more history. You know, it's amazing. Um, growing up playing basketball as a kid, you dream of moments like this. Uh, it just, it's just very, it's a wonderful feeling to have everybody supporting us and just being there for us. It just, it helps us with this run and it's just amazing. This is history. This is this game. We just watched history. Amazing. We've amazing. We're so proud. The proud Peacocks on Peacock Day. Yes, that is right. Today is National Peacock Day of all the days and of all the teams. Who is writing this script? We are in Philadelphia where it felt like the entire state of New Jersey came down for this game. Carol Amato is back up in Jersey City on campus. There were still Carolyn, a few fans, and I know a few happy fans up there celebrating along with them down here. <laughs> They are honking their horns outside as we speak. You know, you could hear a pin drop inside Run Baby Run Arena right now, but that was not the case a couple hours ago, John. I think you might have even been able to hear all the fans here from the hometown of Jersey City that were going so crazy. For this community, for the people that live here and work here and go to school here, they always knew that their peacocks were elite, but now it's official. Roughly half of the peacocks fan base posted up at home Friday proudly cheering the tiny but mighty tournament darlings who refuse to stop dancing. You guys made history tonight. Tell me what this means to you. This means everything to us. I'm so happy we made it for real. It means a lot. We been knew we was going to win. Yeah. A crowd of hundreds on hand, roaring like thousands, hanging on every block, every steal, every bucket until the final second expired. Feels amazing. We're making history right now. St. Peter's Peacocks, we don't Jersey, Jersey City, everybody. This means the world to us. We have players who are underdogs. They look down on us. They they thought we were a good. And look at us now. We beat Kentucky second seed. We beat Murray State. And we just beat Purdue. This town and the team they love are unafraid of college basketball's blue bloods. The music for St. Peter's continues on Sunday. <laughs> You know, David and Natalie, we barely made it out of here. It was that wild at one point. Everybody just hanging as the seconds went on. A nail biter doesn't even cover it. But the thing I love the most being here and speaking to the student body is that they are very much a reflection of this hard, tough, gritty team that they love so much and the pride. You just feel it absolutely everywhere. <laughs> yes, you do, Carolyn. I feel like I could watch those the fan reaction all night long. Just fantastic out there. <laughs> what a night. Great job. Now stay right here on NBC4 for continuing coverage coverage of all the March Madness. We'll have live reports, more live reports from Philly this weekend as the Peacocks try to advance to the final four.